What's up to all my freelancers and creatives? This is Nathan, and I'm going to show you a faster way to do captions. I looked around the internet on YouTube specifically, and I asked how to do captions, and I saw a lot of people manually typing in those captions. So I'm going to show you a faster way that is a little more efficient, or at least a way that is more efficient for me. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to YouTube, and you will want to upload a particular video. Uh, once you upload the video, it will process and take time for the video to upload. However, once the video has been processed, it'll look something like this. The video will be uploaded and it gives a summary of what the video is. Um, I recommend setting the video to private if you don't want people to see uh, this video. Uh, once it's actually uploaded, you're going to hit subtitles. Now YouTube has the capability to do automatic subtitles, so that's the first thing you're going to have to do. You'll wait for YouTube to generate those automatic subtitles, but then you'll go in and you will work on correcting those subtitles. So in other words, you'll listen to it, some things will be right, some things will be wrong. Go in and make your corrections. Once you're done making corrections, you're actually going to save it. And once it's saved, you're going to hit Actions, and you're going to download an SRT file. SRT file. This is important because Adobe Premiere may not take another type of file. So you're going to do an SRT file. That's what you download, and that is now on your computer, and you have those captions already. So coming over here to Premiere Pro, uh, the captions have already been generated, and you're going to want to work on the specific video that you want to add captions towards. So I'm just going to throw a video here that I made. It's a two minute clip. Uh, yes, change sequence settings, that's fine. So this is the video. It's here, it's about two minutes long. So what you're going to want to do is import those captions. So, you know, right click, go to import, find the .srt file and import it to the particular project. I already have imported it and it's right here. So I'm going to drag it onto the sequence. Now you're going to want to see captions. So if you want to see those particular captions, you can also go to window and click on captions and it'll come up. But whenever you click on something that has those automatic captions, it will show up. So the captions are already here laid out in the same timing as what you had on YouTube. This is a faster way to add captions to your video because if you did not have this and I'll hide this for a moment, if you did not have this, well, actually, let me take this out of the sequence. If you did not have the captions automatically generated from YouTube, you'd have to do something like this. I want to add captions. You would right click on your video file, go to new item, and then you'd click on captions. Then the standard, these are the different standards that exist for closed captioning. Um, you, but in your case, you would click on open captions. And then you would say, yes, I want these open captions. They show up. I'll drag them on a project. And then now that they're here, if you wanted to add a caption, you would literally have to click on this button and say, you know, captions go here. And if you want to add another one, you hit the plus symbol and you keep going. Here are more captions. Not only that, but you'd have to zoom in on the project. Let me go over here and make sure the spacing is right for your captions. So you'd have to take this action and make sure the spacing is right. And it's just a long manual process of making sure your captions are working, right? So what I just mentioned is a lot faster. You know, YouTube generated the captions. You go in and double check, make sure they're accurate. Hopefully somebody's passing you on a video that already has accurate captions. Or you can even use a service like Rev.com and they can do the captions to make sure they're accurate and you move on from there. But if I just drag this on the project, the timing is all there. I just need to make sure everything matches up. And I am pretty much done. The only thing that needs to be done at this point is styling of these captions because as you can see, and I'll zoom out a bit, as you can see, they're not showing up, right? So I would just need to style what these captions are. And I can change the font. Well, this is what I like to do. Right click, select all. You can change the font to whatever it needs to be. 
I can change the background color. Right now, the opacity is turned up. I can make it black or whatever I want. Um, yeah, I can just choose whatever I want. And you see over here, it's updating. I can change whatever font I want, uh, suede, different things of that nature. And I just want need to change the spacing and the size just to make sure that the caption is fitting. And that's pretty much it. So again, this is a quick way to add captions. You're using YouTube, it generates it, you download that file, you go, you work on the video in Premiere, and you simply right click, import the captions, lay it out, and then style it how you want it to be styled. That's pretty much it. Wanted to show you this quick tip. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me, leave a comment below, and I will catch you in the next video. See ya.